A patient man is always richer than an impatient one, even if the patient man has less money. A patient man is always richer than the impatient one because the patient man can always afford to wait. The patient man is never desperate. The patient man has time to spare, while the man in a hurry is always on the verge of bankruptcy as far as time is concerned, while patience is substance and strength. True patience is more than just a waiting game. Patience doesn't mean you sit around hoping for something to happen. Patience is not a passive quality. Sometimes patience can mean doing something else entirely, thinking about another venture, taking off in a different direction, while you give events a chance to run their course. Impatient thinking can lead a person into some very big mistakes. You have to lose your life in order to find it. Six verse fifteen. It says, "But thou, O Lord, art a uh, uh, power of full of compassion and gracious, long suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth." And that's the heavenly Father. The heavenly Father is long suffering Himself, you know, and He's merciful. So the Lord, He understands, you know, whatever uh, situation, or whatever trial that we're going through. The Lord knows, you know, He's full of compassion. He's full of mercy. You know, but see, we, we, the thing is, we got a job to do. You know, the Lord commanded us to come out here and, and to warn our people, blow their trumpet, show our people their transgressions, okay? And, and, and continually do this until the Lord comes back. You know, but in the me meantime, we're going to have to suffer. You know? And it's only right because, hey, we went off. So this is our punishment. But see, we're at the, we're, we're gone, we're at, at the end of our punishment. All right, another one. This is uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. It says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. And that's the problem with our people. They think <clears throat> coming to serve the Lord is wasting their life. They think this is, uh, uh, they think we're wasting our time when we come out here. They think all the, the trouble that we go through, all the, the, the problems, all the, the things we have to face, the challenges, they don't, they don't believe all that's worth it. You know, but little do they know is the Lord said that the ones that, that, that seek 
seek after him and seek after him diligently, they're gonna be greatly rewarded. You know, our reward is coming, man. We just got we just gotta hold on, man, and, and do our part. It says, but it's long suffering toward to to us or not willing that any should perish, but that I, that all should come to repenting. You see? And, and that all right now is only referring to the elect. Eventually all our people will be healed in the kingdom. All our people will be in their right mind. You know? But for now the Lord's only dealing with that small remnant. You know, the small remnant is the one that's being tried in that fire right now. The fire of adversity. And he's gonna bring them do that, that, that actual fire when when, this, uh, when America's destroyed. All right, I'm gonna um, jump down to 15. It says, an account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. See, so the long suffering that, that we must endure is going to lead to salvation. Just like he said, remember our, our beloved apostle the brother paul his sufferings remember the sufferings of our lord yahweh shai as, as well as the other men of the lord the great men these scriptures that, that that were uh tried for that verse another none of them uh, uh forsook the lord and the lord didn't ever forsake them either you know so we just gotta hold on and keep pushing this word man and, 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 and be firm for the lord man and lord willing we, you know, we be the one that endure to the end. The Lord have mercy upon us, man. You know, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So with that, I'm gonna wrap it up. Like I said, pray this will be edifying to you, brothers, as well as you sisters out there, man. Keep fighting, man. We're almost out of here.